Hi, I'm Doug Ward from Tech Britain. Today we're here with Sue from the Sharp Project. Thank you for your time. Pleasure. Uh, just for our viewers, Sue, if you let them know a little bit about yourself, that would be great. Uh, I'm a scouser who lives in Manchester. Um, I used to be a TV producer, before that a newspaper journalist. I ended up somehow as the managing director of Granada Television, but I was also the creative director for the Manchester Commonwealth Games, and I was the creative director for the Hall European Capital Culture. And as a result of all that, the city gave me this derelict building about four years ago, and since then I've been painting a lot. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, speaking to our viewers, we're, we're in the Sharp Project in Manchester. Can you let them know about the Sharp Project? Because, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. This is a quarter of a million square foot space. There's 200,000 internal space to that. But it's a very unusual building. It was the former Sharp's electronic distribution warehouse for Europe. And when they moved out about six, seven years ago, the city bought it as a strategic land purchase, but then locked up and left it. Uh, then about four years later, the BBC announced they're moving to the north of England. And this was one of the sites the BBC looked at, uh, determining where they were going to build their new buildings. Um, they went to Salford Media City, which was a great success story for the whole of Manchester. But by then, the city had uh, recognised the importance and economically of the creative, digital and technical sector. And so they gifted this building to the sector itself. And a small team of us were there asked, what would we do with the building? Which was then derelict, underwater, had no power, no connectivity and lots of pigeons. So uh, we came up with a plan, and the plan was very simple, to create a home for emerging uh, digital entrepreneurs in both traditional contexts of drama, we have four big, large drama stages here, as well as those small startup companies who were investigating what would come next with that avalanche of technology. And so we've created different types of space in the building, those drama stages, where now we have Channel 4's Fresh Meat, which last year won the British Comedy Awards, and currently Sky's Mount Pleasant into its second series. Uh, we have 34 shipping containers, which you can see here, in which we put our startup companies. Um, we have slightly bigger, more grown-up offices with carpets where slightly bigger, more grown-up companies are. But critically importantly, they all live in an ecology, so there's an inter-trading market. So, for instance, if you walk down this high street, which runs through the spine of the building, you can pick up an animator, you can pick up a motion capture company, a web design, a search engine optimization company, a forensic analysis company, you can actually dig deep into data, all of those things. So it's a one-stop shop for a company, which means for a company, you don't have to buy in lots of talent, lots of overhead, lots of equipment. You can walk the street and rent when you need, why you need it, at the time you need it most. And so for a business, it reduces the startup costs, but increases your ability to actually go pitch with some big commissions. And that is the Sharp Project. It's an ecology, it's not a building. We're very picky who we let in, so we actually turn people away. And so we measure the people coming in as to what value they will bring in addition to our community here. And so the measure is, you have to make, move, manipulate, or enable the distribution of digital content locally and globally. And that's what we did. I must say, it's a fantastic space. The sheer size of it is, is uh, you can see it's been very well thought out. And like I said, the benefits for a company who's out there is thinking, perhaps viewers are thinking, should, should we come to Manchester? Is, is Manchester open for business? This has got to be a real strength for Manchester's tech community. I mean, I'd like to hear your thoughts on Manchester as a tech community. Uh, its real strengths, what would you say they are? Manchester has been the content making business for more than half a century, you know, with the original home of Granada and BBC Television. But more importantly, there are now 32,000 businesses employing 320,000 people in Greater Manchester in the digital and technical creative sector. So outside of London, we're it. We are big and we are growing bigger every day. We're also a city that trades internationally. So lots of the companies in here, customer base will be in Canada, in Singapore, in India, in Sweden. So we have a very international outlook for our business. So if you're a startup company who wants to be in a like-minded environment, where you've got a huge amount of talent on your doorstep, because you've got the biggest student population in Western Europe, uh, we've got the physical space, 
we've got the talent emerging and critically important for those tech companies. Manchester is one of the only significant internet exchanges in the UK outside of London. Actually, the UK only has three. London has two and Manchester has the third. And because of that, we can actually get anywhere globally through our connectivity, fast, cheap, non-contender, symmetric. And here at the Sharp Ninja, we make that affordable. So even if you can't afford a very affordable ship container, you can just join as a member, sit here, drink good tea, eat cake or Manchester tart, and burst your connectivity to send huge video files anywhere in the world to help you grow your business. That's what we set out to do, make Manchester the tech hub in the UK with a kissing cousin relationship, not in competition, but in collaboration with our friends in London. I mean, uh, it really speaks for itself. The Sharp Project is ticking a phenomenal amount of boxes. Um, so, I mean, I encourage any of the viewers who haven't been to Manchester, the first stop has to be the Sharp Project. Um, we'd like to speak about the event tonight, uh, let our viewers know a little bit about that and what's kind of the, the thought process behind the event. Tonight's event is very important, but it's not a one-off. We actually do a series of events right across the year, so there's a programme of events for the benefit of all our members, which is what we call our tenants, and also for the wider community in the Greater Manchester and actually City Region area. And that's twofold. One, so they can network and exchange ideas and experiences and do business. And secondly, so we can all up our knowledge base constantly, all the time, refreshing what we know and who we know and what's happening out there. So it's a lifelong learning about how to do business with whom. And tonight is, is key to that, really. It's asking, is Manchester really a tech city? And so we have uh, some amazing speakers. Ian Aspen, who is one of the world's most prolific bloggers in the Northwest Lab. Martin Bryant, who edits a very, very influential tech magazine online. And Elizabeth Barley, who set up Tech Hub in London, which, as you know, is at the core of all that shortage community. And it's important because these are people who are absolutely at the cutting edge of where UK PLC is going with the tech sector. And they're here because they recognise the Sharp Project has a part to play with that. But the event itself is critical because it's about us all saying where are the opportunities and working together, how can we capitalise on that? One thing I'd like to uh, just end the interview with, Sue, is, especially from my position, being a Mancunian who was sat in the bedroom, not going out to the meetups, if anybody finds himself in that position, would you recommend them to come down to the Sharp Project? For a very cheap fee per year, and we do a kind of non-VAT registered company, you can just sit all day, talk to everybody, meet everyone, because the world passes through the Sharp Project across the week, and have a cup of tea, eat cake, and actually watch and learn and find out the people who are willing to give for no cost of their time to help businesses grow, because we're all, as my humans, in it together. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.